King Mo. I'm here, at AKA, in San Jose, California. Just training, man, getting ready to whoop Hodge Gracie's ass. The King is back for real at AKA. Down south, you know, we had structure, but up here, AKA is far more structure, and it's a more it's more of a consistent core of guys. Here, it's a bunch of killers every day. When killers try to kill us, you get a super killer. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I like. AKA Wolf can be pretty good with a good ass whooping. They whooped my ass for a few weeks and then I, I caught up and now, you know, they treat me well. I'm, I'm part of the team. King Mo's been a longtime friend of Daniel Cormier. Uh, you know, he got here, he just immediately just took to everyone, you know, just fit right in. What I was surprised about him is how coachable he is. Start building up to it. Extremely coachable. And athletic as hell, everybody knows that. But he's got his own style. You can't touch his style. You gotta leave his style alone. I'm aggressive. You know, throwing power, you know what I'm saying? Better grappling, because, you know, I'm fighting a grappler, so a better me all around. You know, he's coming up against what I consider the the best jujitsu, uh, you know, player ever. There's a big, big factor there for him. Everybody knows the game plan there. It's just going to matter of who can, who can stick to what they want to do and who can make it happen. But I believe 100% that King Mo can stand up against anybody. And if he doesn't want to go to the ground, he ain't going to the ground. I'm prepared to fight wherever the fight goes. If I'm on my back, I'm prepared. If I'm on top, I'm prepared. If I'm standing, I'm prepared. If I have to take him down, I'm prepared to do that. If I have to fence him with takedown, I'm prepared to do that as well. So I ain't really worried about what, what, he, what he's going to do. I'm just worried about what I got to do. I'm King Mo. I'm the shoot. Team Thirsty.